Hello everyone. In my previous video, we studied about the kip return mechanism. In this video, we will study about the feed mechanism. In a shaper, both the down feed and cross feed may be obtained. And these feed movements are provided during the end of return stroke. So, vertical surfaces are produced by rotating the down feed screw of the tool head and the cross feed movement is used to machine flat horizontal surface and this is done by rotating the cross feed screw either by hand or power and while you are rotating the cross feed screw it causes the table to move sideways through a predetermined amount at the end of return stroke. Now let us study about the automatic cross feed mechanism of a shaper. So the down feed movement can be given manually but the, but the cross feed can be given manually or automatically. And this figure illustrates the automatic cross feed mechanism of a shaper. So here we have a slotted disc. This is the slotted disc and on it we have a T slot. Then this is a connecting rod and it is being connected with the help of a crank pin at this end and the other end is being connected to a ratchet arm. So this is a ratchet arm or a rocker arm and this is the ratchet wheel. So this is the ratchet arm and this is the ratchet wheel. Then on the top we can see a spring loaded pole, spring loaded pole and here we can see one end is straight and the other end is slant. Other end is slant. So this is the spring loaded pole. Then on the top we have a knob and this is the cross feed screw. So the rotation of the bull gear causes the slotted disc to rotate in a particular direction. So when the bull gear rotates the slotted disc also rotates and the disc is having a T slot. Then we have a connecting rod and one end of the connecting rod is connected to this slot by using a crank pin. Using a crank pin. And the other end of the connecting rod is connected to the ratchet arm or the rocking arm. So one end is connected to the sl slotted disc and the other end is connected to the ratchet arm. The ratchet arm is connected to the center of the ratchet wheel. So this arm. The rocking arm or the ratchet arm is connected to the center of the ratchet wheel and the ratchet wheel is key is key to the cross feed screw and the ratchet wheel is key to the cross feed screw now and the ratchet arm houses a spring loaded pod which is straight on one end and bevel on the other end. So the pole is straight on one side and bevel on the other side. So as the driving disc rotates through half of the revolution, so as the driving disc rotates, what happens? So when the driving disc rotates, the connecting rod starts reciprocating and when it rotates through half of the revolution in clockwise direction so when 
the driving disc is rotating in clockwise direction what will happen the top part of the ratchet arm moves in the clockwise direction so when the driving disc rotates the connecting rod reciprocates connecting rod reciprocates and the top part of the ratchet arm moves in clockwise direction and the pole being slant on one side the pole being slant on one side slips over the teeth of the ratchet wheel imparting it no movement as the driving disc rotates in clockwise direction the top of this ratchet arm also moves in rotates in clockwise direction such that the pole having the slanted edge slips over the teeth of the ratchet wheel so there is no movement to the ratchet wheel even though the the ratchet arm is moving clockwise the ratchet wheel will not rotate and when the slotted disc rotates through other half what will happen the ratchet arm moves in anti clockwise direction so while during this half the ratchet arm moves like this moves like this okay and during the other half of the rotation of the disc the ratchet wheel sorry the ratchet arm moves in anti clockwise direction so while moving the ratchet arm in anti clockwise direction what will happen the this pole the straight edge of the pole will engage with the teeth of the ratchet wheel so that the ratchet wheel moves in anti clockwise direction so the ratchet wheel moves in anti clockwise direction so as the driving disc is connected to the bull gear the table feed movement is affected when the bull gear or the driving disc rotates through half of the revolution that is during the return stroke only so rotation through other half imparts no feed movement so when the feed roll is rotating through this half the ratchet arm moves clockwise but the ratchet wheel will not rotate and when the feed roll rotates through this half the ratchet arm moves from from this point to the anti clockwise direction so as the pole engages with the teeth and the ratchet wheel rotates in anti clockwise direction so the feed is being given only during the return stroke thank you all